Hi there, it's David Hepbreath from Computer World and we're doing a short video on Ruckus Unleashed. So the first step is literally going to Admin and Services, expand the Admin and Services portal and then look for Users and Roles. So Users, if we're going to start creating a local database is where we'd start introducing local users. But before we can start introducing users, we need to create a role, uh, something that means that they can create guest passes. So we click Create New on Guest Passes and we'll make it so we call it Guest Pass Generation and then we we'll give it the, the description of guest pass creation. Now you'll notice that there's a group attribute. So if you were to link your AD services to the guest pass generation, this is where we put the group attribute. I would then look up one of our Ruckus security groups and look to create a guest pass generation security group. And within that guest pass generation security group, there'd be a number of members and all of those members in that group would be able to create a guest pass. And all we need to do is get the group attribute copy that and then place that into the group attributes here into the controller. I would place a group attribute there if you're going to link it to Active Directory or if you have thoughts about linking it to Active Directory later on and you have the capability of creating an AD group then it's good to place it there because that will always be sat in the role. And then what you want to do is you want to select which WLAN you want to give guest access for. So we've got the guest access office and then you're going to select the bottom guest uh, pass tick box saying allow guest pass generation and you just click OK. At that point, you've now created a role where people can create guest passes. Then if you want to use the local database, you'll create a new user here, and we call this test. And that test user will then be able to create guest passes. But we would give them the role that we created earlier of guest pass generation. So the next bit is for AAA server users. So if you want to actually link it to LDAP or AD, then what you would do is you go to services, go to AAA servers, and then create a authentication server that you want to test against. So you'll notice that I've already created one here. Um, so you would literally, we'll use this Active Directory for our test, but if you wanted to create a new one, you just go in, put the name of the service you want to create. Um, you can do Active Directory or Radius, and you'll see the menu or the fields change. And then you can enable global catalog, you can enable TLS and encryption, which obviously change the port. And then you just need the IP address and the Windows domain name, and that's pretty standard. So in this example, we've got the Computer World demo account set up, and that way we've got an Active Directory account linked. So we can either do a local database, or we can use Active Directory Security Group users to be able to create guest passes. So the next bit is to go on to Guest Access Service, and this is where you're going to select the Guest Access Service and Guest Pass Generation here is how you're going to create those guest passes. So the key bit to making sure is that authenticated users can create, generate guest passes using the URL shown below. So this is the URL here. And this is the point where you can decide if you want people to authenticate via local database or Active Directory. So at this point, we'll do the local database. And this is where you can change the validity period of creation times and effective from first use guest passes and how long they'll be valid for. So we click apply, and that's that saved. And also what you'll be able to find in this section is where previous generated guest passes have been created, what remarks they have, how long the access is for, and if you want to delete those. So you can just select it and delete the access there. So that's it. So now we've created the guest pass generation. What we'll do next is open up a different browser and show you the process of actually creating the guest pass generation.